Hi, and welcome to APA Fun Facts with Courtney. If you are writing your paper and need quick APA tutorials, then consider subscribing to this channel so that I can help guide you through it. Today, we are talking about margins and spacing in APA 7th edition. So let me show you how it works. Now remember, I am sharing APA 7th. If your professor or instructor has different rules that they want you to follow, then follow their rules. But this is what it says in the APA guide. Today we're talking about font, spacing, indentation, and margins. To help with showing you what we need to do, I've started a sample paper all about uh, pencil preferences because that's a riveting topic. And it's a completely fictional paper, but I just wanna use it as an example to show you what you need to do. So we have our student title page, and then we're starting our paper. APA 7th allows you to use a variety of fonts. Let's talk about the fonts that APA allows. It used to be in APA 6 that you used Times New Roman point 12 font. The world made sense, everything was standard, and it looked beautiful. Now, APA is just letting us go bananas with whatever fonts we have. So, I will direct you to page 44 of your APA style guide if, um, if you want to read up on the fonts. In section 2.19, it says, APA papers should be written in a font accessible to all users. You can use sans serif or serif. Serif are the little lines, like in Times New Roman, there's kind of little lines on the top and bottom of each letter, those are serifs. Sans means without, so sans serifs would be like Arial or Calibri, how it's just very clean looking. They say that you could use 11 point Calibri, 11 point Arial, 10 point Lucidia Sans, uh, Lucidia Sans Unicode. That's crazy. And then you can also use serif fonts like 12 times New Roman, 11 point Georgia, or normal 10 point computer modern. I have some very strong opinions about this. Anyways, we'll be artistic here. Anything, anything goes these days. As long as it's very readable and as long as your professor has approved it. If your professor says 12 point times New Roman or 11 point Arial, then you do whatever your professor says because they are marking it. So. Here is my text in my accessible font and it gets indented one time and then I space down for the next paragraph. When I write, I like to write it all single spaced first so that I don't mess up the spacing because APA doesn't add extra spaces and it can be really hard to see this if you've already double spaced it. So my tip to you is to write in single space to start and then double space everything at the very end. And you'll notice with APA, the edges are supposed to be ragged. So don't click the justified button like this where they all line up perfectly. That puts weird spacing in between your words. Make it left aligned so that the left side is clean and the right side is ragged. And there you have it. There is the proper spacing in APA. When it comes to margins, APA wants you to use 2.54 centimeter margins all around the paper. In Google Docs, I couldn't figure out how to do this, but in Microsoft Word, you can go into the margins function and you can set your own margins. Well, thank you so much for watching to the end. If you have any questions specific to APA 7th, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you or I'll make a video on it if it's something that I think everyone else can benefit from as well. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Good luck writing those papers. Bye.